Doctor Who Season 12, Episode 3, titled Orphan 55. And this is an episode that's going to piss off half the planet off by even mentioning a certain elephant in the room. Uh, which I am going to talk about, um, spo spoiler-wise, I'm just going to talk about it. But here's the thing. This episode, I quite enjoyed. I quite enjoyed. I really enjoyed the first half of it, uh, the first, I'd say, the first 15 minutes, where it is essentially classic new who which is you got a location in this case a spa hotel a monster cracks in breaks in turns it into a horror movie and then uh we find out why the creatures doing what they're doing and who they are and what the motivations are and da 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 da, da. and all that i quite dug and dig and all that all those um, uh, aggressives and ascriptions to describe how I quite enjoyed the first act. But then the second act comes along when it turns into a, like a Weshu mission. And I found it be good because I just found it good. I didn't feel like, oh, this is really good. I just found the second act good because you have a character, this elderly woman who's the, who's, uh, is just there to say her partner's name six billion times. And it's one of those things like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> you know, the characters are there to s try to save and, and save your partner. But, you know, she, she's just saying his name six billion times. Benji, 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 we need to say Benji. Your partner's we're going to say Benji. We're going to get Benji, Benji. And it's one of those things like, can you be, can you, it's basically, can you say any other words that doesn't say Benji? Please, say any other words. I dare you. <laughs> Please. You know, uh, she's just a cartoon character. But also, in the second act, there's certain things that happen in the episode that felt very quick and very rushed. And you feel like if they had a little bit more time to flesh things out. Like, you know, you have characters turning on other characters. And it felt very just quick and out of nowhere. And there wasn't any fuller aggression towards it. Um... But, but it's one of those things like, you know, the gears are there, it's just like you need a couple of other gears to, to fit, fit and keep, keep, keep it moving and, and feel very fluent. Uh, then the third act comes along and I'm like, okay, we're back to like the third act and you've got the ending, which is a damn good doctor speech. Um, and that's the, th and then I realized, oh, people are going to be pissed with us. It's about global warning and how we live in a world where just mentioning something is political or PC or they're shoving down their throats and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I'm sorry guys. Oh, like if we wanted to stick to the science fiction theme, they've been doing it since, since forever. Yeah, mentioning and reflecting on today's world. Yeah, it's just, it's just simple. It's a very simple thing. Film and television is art, right? It's, it's art form, right? Art flex reality. Science fiction flex reality. I mean, look at the, look at the old Star Trek episodes, the original Star Trek show episodes. Kind of reflected on the times. So it's one of those things where you have to say say to yourself, like, if that show was, like, as it was, in today's world, people would say it was getting political. That you know, they're shoving their ideas down their throats. Can stop doing this Hollywood, you know, shoving things down their throats. And I'm saying, can you guys just please fuck off? Global warming is a thing. It deflects on today's world. And yes, the doctor makes a speech about, hey, you know, it's all up to us to change it to make sure that the future that we saw in this episode doesn't happen. That's all it is. You know, the best, be the best of humanity. And I'm wondering, because we live in the world, the internet, that everyone has a companion, da, 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 is can you ever do the best, best of, of humanity speeches anymore? That the cad is known for doing. Of saying, you know, we're the best of them, and this is, as a human, this is why the human race is so good, because of this, this, and this. Can you do that? Because people will be like, you're preaching! You're preaching! 
I'm sorry. Uh, this mm, it it drives me off the wall. It's really it's I uh, guess what the doctor is a woman now. It's going to be mentioned that she used to be a man. It's just a natural narrative sense. It's not political. It's not shoving people things down their throats. Jesus. And then I, I cry joy. It has some flaws, but I like this episode. It's just uh, when you start thinking about how the internet's going, how people go actually going to react. You just get very disappointed of humanity. <sighs> 